The simmering tensions within ZANU-PF have boiled over as President Emerson Numningagwa now knows of high-ranking officials who are plotting to oust him from power. This revelation comes amidst spirited campaigns by some party structures to push for Umningagwa rule beyond 2028 despite his promise to retire after his second term. These documents are related to a case where former ZANU-PF youth leader Jim Kanaka is seeking readmission into the party. This exposes a complex web of accusations, counter-accusations, and political maneuvering. Kunaka is a fierce critic of the government who is now seen as a pawn in a larger game, and there are allegations that he is a proxy of former ZANU-PF Commissar Xavier Kasukawe. In a letter dated July 23, 2024, the Harare Provincial Executive described Kanaka's potential readmission as a security threat and highlighted concerns about his alleged links to Kasukawe. The letter was signed by Provincial Chairperson God Wills Masamarembwa and it outlines the proceedings of a meeting where the readmission of Kanaka and Terence Kumbula was discussed. Masamarembwa confirmed the minutes of the meeting and stated that a letter containing provincial reservations on Kanaka's application for readmission has been sent to the national leadership for a decision. The letter also reveals that there is serious factionalism within ZANU-PF and competing groups are vying for influence and control within the party. This factionalism is further evidenced by the accusations made by Ratidzil Mukarati, who is the women's provincial chairperson. She claims that members of the Harare Provincial Coordinating Committee and some central committee and Politburo members are collaborating with Kanaka and Kasukawa against the Mingagwa. Members of the Harare PCC, specifically Central Committee and Politburo members and those surrounding the president are working with Kasukawa with intentions of harming the president and that she knows those people by name. Reads the letter. C.D. Mukarati said we should look beyond Jim Kanaka. She went further to say that she knows the culprits and was prepared to name them. While Kasukawa denies any involvement in a plot against the Mingagwa, he says that President Mingagwa's unpopularity, his economic policies and harsh conditions for the growing dissent are all working against him. He further says it is the ordinary Zimbabwean not Jim Kanaka who is pushing back against the Mingagwa and the Mafidi dynasty. The fight for power within ZANU-PF is a dangerous game. A history of deadly factional fights in Zimbabwe has ultimately led to Robert Mugabe's ouster in a 2017 coup. The succession battle is further complicated by the recent reshuffle within the Central Intelligence Organization CIO and the Zimbabwe Republic Police CRP. These moves have been seen as a consolidation of power by Omningagwa. These changes come amid reports of security breaches at properties linked to Omningagwa and his close relatives, including break-ins and a mysterious fire at his son, David, who is also the Deputy Minister of Finance. The incidents also include break-ins at President Omningagwa's house under construction in Barodale and a break-in at the offices of Tourism Deputy Minister Tomai Omningagwa. The succession issue is said to be causing significant tension and mistrust within the ruling party. But ZANU-PF spokesperson Christopher Mutsvangwa has attempted to quell these power squabbles by stating that the party's new leader will be chosen in an open contest, and that ZANU-PF has clear and laid down procedures that they follow when choosing leaders. The fight for power within ZANU-PF is a dangerous game that has ended in tears for many former ZANU-PF senior officials including former President Robert Mugabe himself. The succession battle is further complicated by the health of Vice President Constantino Chiwenga, who has been considered to be Yomingabwa's most likely successor. However, his health has been a source of speculation and the deaths of his key former military allies such as former Foreign Affairs Minister Sibusiso S.B. Moyo and former Air Chief Marshal Perrin Shiri have left him politically vulnerable. There are now doubts that Chiwenga will be the heir apparent because of his ill health. Chiwenga is exposed as he no longer wields power in military circles. Nairobi-based Zimbabwean analyst Tanashi Gumbo told another publication recently 